23, scientists are long believing that the structure enables complex tasks. So that's a very uh, awkward sentence, are long believing. Um, we look at the choices, will long be believing? That's very awkward. It's future tense, which doesn't really seem to be a good idea here. And it's just awkward. Um, now, have long believed is good because what this shows is that this is something scientists have believed over a long period of time, from the past to now. And so I like C. Uh, scientists long believe that. So there, it, it's a little less clear that this is showing that um, this is something that happened over a period of time from the past till now, especially since you have this word long. If it said just believe, scientists believe that, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, but we want to show that this is something that's happened over a period of time, especially since a recent finding may um, you know, ch change this or add to this in some way. So uh, we best choice here is going to be choice C. 24, all about redundancy and wordiness. The, this sequestration would explain handedness, the tendency to consistently prefer one hand over the other in humans. Um, that's pretty good. Um, this is describing uh, you know, what this handedness is and mm, looks fine. Uh, let's see. Consistently prefer and favor the use of one hand over the other. So B just adds a bunch of stuff to A that just doesn't add anything new. It's redundant or wordy. Same thing with C, one hand over the other that could be chosen. We don't need that. One hand on a regular basis. Again, you don't really need that. You can just say one hand over the other. Specifically, that's what hand in this is about. So A is the best answer. 25. However, a recent finding of handedness in marsupials suggests that a trait other than the presence of a corpus callosum links as handedness. So there's no real need for punctuation here. I'm good with the original. No need for a comma, right? If you're going to throw a comma there, what's the function of it? It's not doing anything here. Semicolon. Can't use that if I'm not separating two complete sentences, which I'm not. Colon. Need to have a complete sentence before it and a elaborating phrase after. Don't have that. So best answer is A. 26. Reading that in, for number 25, this just seemed very awkward. This is an idiom question. Um, so links as, no. Correlates with, that's the idiom here you're looking for. Presence of a corpus callosum correlates with handedness, right? It goes with. So I like B, correlates from, wrong idiom, links on, strange. Uh, if it said links to, that might be better, but yeah, correlates with is the best of the options, so B. 27, we want to pick the choice that reflects the information in the graph. So let's see, the scientists employed a mean handedness index. Negative scores indicated a left forelimb preference and positive scores indicated a right forelimb preference. Well, that's not right. I mean, the figure shows that negative is right and positive is left, so that's just wrong. Scores of zero or less indicated a left forelimb preference. No, that's wrong. Zero or more. Positive scores indicated a lack of forelimb preference. No. Positive scores indicated a left forelimb preference, and negative is right. Yep, this is consistent with what we see in the figure, so that's it. 28. While eating the eastern gray kangaroo, red-necked wallaby, red kangaroo, and comma, brush-tailed betong. Okay. We've got a list of things here. We need to make sure our commas in the right place. So it's gray kangaroo, comma, red-necked wallaby, comma, red kangaroo, comma, and get rid of that comma, brush-tailed betong. So all of these are part of our list. Got to have the comma in the right place. And choice B does it. 29, back to the graph, which is going to most accurately reflect that data. So it says, while well, eating all of these animals, preferred using their left forelimb as revealed by positive mean handedness index values less than 0.2. No, there's a bunch that are above 0.2. Positive mean handedness index values greater than 0.6. Nope, none of them are. Values between 0.4 and 0.6, that's true. Values of zero, no. So we get C. What's going to transition from the previous paragraph? So what's going on in the previous paragraph? Previous paragraph is this study, and it showed that these uh, kangaroos preferred to use their left forelimbs to, to do whatever they were doing, I guess eating. So what's going to transition? Having four feet, quadruple, quadrupedal marsupials in the study did not show a strong preference for the use of one forelimb. Well... The problem there is having four feet, that defines what a quadruped is, but it doesn't really transition from the previous paragraph. 
Like most other mammals, that doesn't transition. In contrast to their bipedal counterparts. Yeah, this is contrasting with the previous paragraph. The previous paragraph says these bipeds prefer their left hands, but quadrupeds don't have a preference. And that's in contrast to what's going on in the previous. So we go with choice C. So what's the main claim of the passage? Uh, kangaroos, though, still do not exhibit handedness to the extent that humans do. Is that the main idea of the passage? That may be true, but is that what the passage is focusing on? No, it's showing that there is handedness. But specifically, as we see in choice B, it's handedness with bipeds, specifically. So that's consistent with the main idea of the paragraph and the passage. There are many things scientists do not understand about the marsupial brain. I mean, probably true, but is that the main idea of the passage? Additional studies in this phenomenon will need to be performed with other mammals. Again, probably true, but do any of these go back to the main idea? No. The one that this passage is about is bipedalism and handedness. So that's B. 32. The bipeds, on the other hand, are far less arboreal, leaving their forelimbs relatively free for tasks in whom handedness may confer an evolutionary advantage. So we only want to use whom if we're talking about a person and or an, even an animal. But what we're talking about is the tasks that may confer or tasks in which, essentially, referring back to those tasks, the tasks in which handedness may confer an, an evolutionary advantage. Um, so that's here. We, we can't use who or whom because that's, you know, tasks on a person. If you listen to, well, same thing with whose, can't use that without a person. Uh, what, plug that in, doesn't sound right. Leaving their forelimbs relatively free for tasks in what handedness? No. In which, tasks in which handedness may convert an evolutionary advantage. So, choice B. 33, we want to conclude the passage by recalling a topic from the first paragraph that requires additional research. So, first things first, let's go back to that first paragraph, see what topic might need additional research. So marsupials are a curiosity because they lack a corpus callosum. Left and right control different parts. Scientists have long believed that the structure enables complex tasks. This sequestration would explain handedness, the tendency to consistently prefer humans. However, a recent finding of handedness suggests that a trait other than the presence of a corpus callosum links or correlates with handedness bipedalism. Now, nothing jumps out to me as very obvious as something that needs additional research, but we read it. Let's just see what choices we have. A, uh, so why the majority of marsupials studied prefer their left forelimbs while the majority of humans prefer their right remains a mystery, however, uh, as does the mechanism by which in the absence of a corpus callosum, the hemispheres communicate. Yeah, I mean, they do say in the first paragraph that these kangaroos don't have a corpus callosum, which d prevents this communication that would sort of theoretically impede handedness, and yet they are handed, why is unknown. So that sort of makes sense. That is a, a way that you could continue this research to you know, further explain where, you know, why is there con this connection between handedness and bipedalism and uh, what the lack of a corpus callosum has to do with it. Uh, B, they don't talk about my narrative of humans who are left-handed. It's not just really the main topic here of this passage or really what's going on in the first paragraph neurological disorder is not really mentioned in the first paragraph um you know, hand in this in other animals it's just not mentioned in the first paragraph it's all about kangaroos or more specifically bipedalism um not about animals that stand upright only some of the time so the one that best refers back to that first paragraph is choice a